All right, so today I'm gonna be spot and stalk, doing a spot and toast. Today I'm gonna be doing a spot and stalk on some pigs. I came in here yesterday about 8.30 and had a, I guess was a sow with piglets. The sow was growling at me, I saw the little piglets and I uh, couldn't get a shot on her, I couldn't see her through this stuff. You can see it's just all this kind of like belly button high, super thick grass right here. Got a lot of these cereal bushes with palmettos in them. And I'm standing in probably three or four inches of water. It's like this the whole way. Basically what I'm doing is following a pine ridge. It's just weird little pine ridge that goes straight through the marsh right here. And uh, the animals seem to be traveling it. Well, yesterday I got about 300 yards from the boat, three, 400 yards from the boat, spooked up those pigs. So what I'm gonna do today is I brought the grunt call. I'm gonna just make my way through here slowly. Maybe hit the grunt call a little bit for the pigs and for the deer, you know, just kinda make it sound like I'm just another animal walking through the woods. And I, mean, I keep hearing stuff, but it's just me. Um, I'm gonna be wearing the GoPro on my head like one of those YouTube fishermen. But I didn't there's no way for me to carry the good camera out here and do this. So anyway, Louisiana public land in the marsh. Let's try to kill us a pig. If a big buck walks by. Shoot if a doe walks by, she might get it. We'll see. You can see they kind of tore all this up. And there's all kind of trails going in these palmettos right here. If I had to guess. And if I was a pig, I'd be in there. Which they could be in there right now and I'd never know. Poop. This is where they were yesterday. I'm trying to stay on the downwind side of it so I can smell them. If they're in there. Deer. Just spooked up a doe. Looked like a doe at least. Gonna knock one. Walk up here. Well, I'll go around this way since the wind's blowing this way. Might be another deer up in here somewhere. It's like a patch of canes on the other side. Looks like she was either bedded up right here or back here. I'd say back here. I've been standing here watching this big opening for about 30 minutes after I spooked that doe. I don't know if y'all can hear me through the wind, but I'm trying to block it with my hand. It's uh, 3 o'clock now. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to start walking back on this pine ridge again. And uh, see if we can't find a pig on the way back. I see a couple of trees right behind me that I could put a climber in or a lock on. Just to watch this big opening and see where the deer are crossing. And make a move from there. Tonight was another one of those kind of like scouting slash hunting, you know, walking with the bow kind of scouting nights. So on the way back, I'll just be ready for a pig. <laughs> 